Okay, so we're coming down this elevator? Uh, I don't remember if we did that at the end of last. Like, if we actually made it to the bottom. I don't think we did. I don't remember this. Nope, that seems a little familiar. Though, of course, I have played this game before. Uh, oh, it's a decoy. Okay. That's new. Oh, I have... Mm. I don't like my weapon layout. Water puddle, med kits. And also, where is everybody? Okay, that's somebody. Well, it was somebody. Oh, no, it still is. Oh, they're still alive. Okay. They... Wow. They have volley gun, I believe, so I can't... Oh, no, there's RPG. I was going to say, I can't pick up a different gun. But, uh, yeah, I can actually pick up the RPG, but... Better than the shotgun for right now. Uh, is that also the machine gun? Yeah, I think it is. Alright, how do we get up there? Mosquito. Okay, I think we want on the balcony. Oh, more people are coming. Uh, okay, get up there. And do that. Okay. You know, the vo oh, and there's a volley gun respawn there. So, uh, the volley gun's actually being really helpful against these guys. They stun them, and they do a good chunk of damage. Okay, I hear more people. And RPG. Okay, so they really seem to want me to, um, well, use the volley gun and RPGs for this. Uh... What? A handyman just took them down. Was that not a Vox ship? Oh, nice. Sorry I'm getting quiet, uh, just getting back into the swing of recording, you know, after a week off. There's always that- ooh. Oh, come on. Rails. Rails. Well, mm. Oh, decoy. Let's do that. I want to find health kits. Like, over there. Okay. Oh, wow. He was right on my tail. Actually, I'm really glad I didn't do the water puddle. I think his electricity would have hurt me. Because he did an electrical attack there a moment ago. Uh, what is this? So, when struck. Now, does that include bullets, or does that mean just being hit? Like... You know, the enemies with the billy clubs, or somebody whipping me with their gun or something. I'll just take it. That's not bad. I actually really like that. Uh, who else? Oh, okay, all the way over there. Thank you, Elizabeth. And that also somehow reloaded my volley gun, which doesn't really make sense, but uh, okay. Wow. They're just really doing a gauntlet here. Gauntlet are here, aren't they? Uh, there were some other med kits. Oh, actually, I, I didn't lose as much health as I thought I did, and it actually looks like the battle's over. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just take... I mean, we could have just spawned some health kits. But, uh... I don't know. Okay. I really want to replace that. Thank you, Elizabeth. I really want to replace the volley gun with something. Like, if I could find a carbine, that would be fabulous. Also, where am I supposed to go? Uh, Comstock House, okay. Okay, rail. Is that it? Oh, that probably is it. Well, that hurt. Uh, oh, I wasn't even the right place. Dang it. Uh, I'm actually okay on salts. Where does it want me to get off? Yes, and I know how I phrased that. Okay, it's just going to tell me to go back on there, right? Where's this arrow? Okay. I'm just gonna take a breather here. I know it's gonna tell me to go back up there, right? Right? Or is this just it? No, okay, that looks locked. Hmm. I have no idea where, where it wants me to go. Like, part of me thinks it should be just right. Is that where we came from, or is that? Did you take a look at this lock? That's where we need to go, isn't it? It, it told me on the rails, though. And you know, I have a feeling this is where I need to go because that was a hairpin lock, and not you know. I need for lock picks. All right. Ooh, what are these new ones? The Rise of Columbia. Uh, look back at opening day. I think we've seen all of these. This one doesn't sound as familiar. The Prophet stands up to foes, within and without. I'm not reading it, because I think... Yeah, I think I've seen this before. I'm just going to skip the last of that. Um, I was just, you know, double-checking for... Achievement progression, although I really don't care about achievements. Um, I mean, I don't really want to miss any of those. Uh, hold on, let's... Eh, actually, I guess that is everything, but wow, I actually expected that to be... We're gonna get ambushed going back out, aren't we? Nothing yet. Uh, is that something lockpickable? It is. Uh, med kits, I don't need, uh, salts. Oh, those are full, too. Okay. Got a lock, needs picking. Let me see. Is this... No, this is not the correct way, but... What you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back... That's death, Mr. DeWitt. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Yeah, I kind of imagine death would be better, but... You know, that's me. Uh, this is actually a explorable area. Sure, this isn't the right way. Oh, hi. Thank you. But yeah, I had a volley gun and a shotgun. I, 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 I probably did that thinking, oh, you know, the volley gun for distance. I that actually sounds familiar. You know, the a volley gun for distance and a shotgun for up close. Ooh, I will gladly take that lockpick. 
I have a feeling that even though it's not saying this the right way, that this is actually the right way. Okay, this is definitely, you know, a side path. Or, you know, just a small little thing. Is there going to be a voxophone? Lots of money. Lots of money. Kinda. A decent chunk of money, I suppose. Anything else? Yes. An infusion. Which... Shields. It's a tried and true. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, but this is really intriguing. Like, why, why did they include this broken window? Feels like it should be there for a reason? But no, it's probably just there for the sake of being there. Which, okay, yeah. Wonderful. World building. Stuff like that. Okay, I guess it would be there because the Vox attack, but I don't know. Something about that particular, the window, the paper's flying out, all that. Uh, am I going in a circle? No, I am not. Whoa. Yeah, I am gonna call bullshit on that. Those were... Wow, this game... Antifa does not just kill pr pedestrians willy-nilly. Those were non-combat units. Were they rich? Maybe. They are probably at least middle class. But... They were non-combatants. Wow, there's a lot of money, and I think I'm just going to miss a lot of it. Oh, that's a repeat. No, it was telling me I could pick up the repeater. Okay, I think that battle's over. I mean, I, I probably should pick up a... Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't want that. Ooh, and I am low on health. But that will help. That will help a lot. Wanna hold on to this? Yeah, I still can't get over that uh, Ken Levine thing. The... Oh, the oppressors will become... Or the oppressed will become the oppressors. Like, uh, That bugs the heck out of me, and... Also, in the same interview question, I think he was going on about how he and... Uh, Ryan, the first... The, Andrew Ryan of the first game. Okay. Uh, Andrew Ryan of the first game were Jewish, and I, I don't remember what his point was, but it's just like, I don't remember that being the text of the game, which, okay, maybe I missed it, maybe it always was, I don't know. Uh, there's lockpicks, I want those. Uh, but a few comments on that. First and foremost, Ryan is an Irish name. I, it's still possible he could be Jewish, of course, uh... I looked on the Wikipedia, whatever, and it said, um, like, his family comes from what was eventually the USSR. Uh, but also, now that I go back and think about it, it's like, wait, did you seriously make a Jewish character the big bad capitalist? Ooh, that is good. I, I actually don't pay... I don't know how... Ooh, I paid a lot for that. Yikes. And he also mentioned, you know... The char a few other characters being Jewish. Uh, I can't remember everybody else. I think maybe Tenenbaum? Some cash. Cash. Which I, I, I do want to get to playing Bioshock 1 at some point. 
Uh, so I shouldn't really speak too much on it. Uh, but, um... Oh, I know what I was going to get at. Um, because Bioshock Infinite has Bioshock Burial at Sea, it would really be helpful to play Bioshock 1 before I get to Burial at Sea. Now, I've played through Burial at Sea and Bioshock 1 before. Uh, okay. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, there's a part of me that wants to, you know, let's play that before I get to Burial at Sea, uh, Bioshock 1, but, uh, the Bioshock games can get a little... Looks abandoned. I don't want to say grindy? Because that that's not the right word. Grind would be something else entirely. Um... I don't know. The other day, I saw Ian Danskin of Innuendo Studios tweeting something about... Like, it was asking about some game trope, and he answered Bioshocked. And basically, the... Like, the trope that was annoying him is basically how needlessly complicated these games can get at times. At least, that's how I understood it. Um... That's kind of what I'm thinking. You know, like, that's kind of why I don't want to do Bioshock 1 right now, I'm sure. Or, well, obviously not right now, because I'm not done with Infinite. Uh, do I want the pistol? What's odd? Booker, grab that lock oh, thank you. I should look on the ground more often, I suppose. Uh... So was I done with my tangent? I, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Oh, right, yeah. I think I'm going to just go to Burial at Sea. And maybe eventually get to Bioshock 1. Maybe I'll take a break, do Bioshock 1, and then do Burial at Sea. I don't know. And I do want to do Bioshock 2. Because I've never played through Minerva's Den, and I've actually heard really good things about it. Um, but I feel like, as far as the story for Burial at Sea, it's really just Bioshock 1 that you really need. Which actually makes sense, because Ken Levine did Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite, Bioshock Infinite, Burial at Sea. Uh, I don't think he was involved much on Bioshock 2. Okay, how do I get to that tear? Oh, okay, just wait for it to float. Uh, okay. Am I in here just a little time, or can I actually... What's going on? Am I just in a new universe now? I'm just in a new universe now. Okay. I mean, I knew I was in a new universe, but I thought maybe I was going to be able to exit it again. Okay, so is the test labs now open? Also, what's down here? Where does it want me to go? Like, did I step into a new universe? I had to have. But this is all looking pretty much the same. And it looks like the bars are still up. Okay. Hmm. And of course, we have this ragtime version of Everybody Wants to Rule the World, or is that what it's called? And also, is that actually ragtime? I don't think that's ra actually ragtime. Maybe it could be argued the piano style, but that singing... Uh, does Ragtime... I, I really don't know what Ragtime is. I'm, I'm just bullshitting my way through this, aren't I? I keep thinking about that dream that you had. And 
New York on fire. Yeah. There's something about it. Okay, nothing really interesting that way. Okay, so I think this is where it wants me to go. No? Okay. Wait, did I already know that? Is that why I decided to go this way? Or did I just assume it? Being high and let's playing at the same time does make me forget things. Uh, no, I don't want the shotgun. Oh, boy. Can I please get the carbine? You know, I haven't listened to that, um, to that, uh, voxophone, so let's go ahead and do that. My dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which musician you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. Okay, so we have the burst gun. We have the shotgun. We still have six shots on the volley gun. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a gun on him, right? No, is that just a texture on the gloves? What am I looking at? Because I swear I see like a magazine right there. sure. Is there something glowing on this dude? A uh, hand cannon. I'm gonna try it. And then again, we have the shotgun barrel that will... So, I'm expecting a shootout. Uh, I, I don't think that's too spoilery to say, but I remember this area having a I just triggered it. A really annoying fight. Am I too far for that to be super effective? Or is it just poor aim? Probably. Yeah. I could probably blame my... Bl blame my aim. That can't be it. So, yay, I knew that was a thing. But yeah, the Lutes Graves. And then this guy. Wait, is... Kind of looks like Robert Lutes, does... Maybe? Not quite? Oh, yeah, let's pick up the salts. Okay. Let, uh, oh, rest in peace, loved, beloved sister, Victoria Lock something. I don't know, it just kind of looked like Elizabeth was paying attention to that grave. Why do I remember there being an, we have to double, we have to backtrack. That's why I remember an annoying fight. Because there will be an annoying fight. That wasn't it. Uh, where do I go? Right, this was a side path, wasn't it? Is that a little something I want to explore, or have I been here? I have not been here, but... I do not need a medical kit. Yeah, that's gonna be a bad time. Okay. Um guess Elizabeth's going is going that way. I assume that's the correct direction. I thought that flapping flag oh I've been there, right. I thought that flapping flag might have been a person. No, that's where I Okay, right, because that was side path. And I got turned around. Uh, anything new? Oh, boy! 
That sounds new. Solving the Irish problem. Meet the drunk, the laggard. Meet the strumpet, his brood mare. Together, they manufacture future po Vox Populi. Send them to me, says Jeremiah Fink at Fink Manufacturing. They'll work or by God die trying. Finished. So that was new. Uh, okay. And strumpet, that's... That's an insult that needs to come back. Yeah, 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 I get it. Both sides are as bad. There's, there's, there's fine people on both sides, all that. Uh, I remember that being a shootout, too. Do I just have to double back through this entire area and shoot my way through? Okay, up there. So, up here. It was nothing. Fabulous. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, another voxophone. Who is this character? This is for the miracle child. Hello. I'm sorry your mother, Lady Comstock, is dead. I think she's altogether better than mine. Since you live there, can you tell me why the tower has been closed? People say it's poor weather, then the pox, then a haunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. Okay. Huh. Anything else of interest? So yeah, I think we're going to have to basically backtrack through this entire place. Or maybe we universe hop and the people are alive. Although, if memory serves, they don't actually... Be, they're not necessarily antagonistic in that weird fugue state. That was good. The thing is mistaking me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Yep. Backtrack. 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 Oh, seriously, no? Okay. Oh, but we are going to have to return, of course, with the hand. That has been dead for 19 years. And is going to have to be, like, you know, rehumidified. Not rehumidified. It's going to need to soak in a jar of water before they, the fingerprints plump up enough to be red. A hand. There it is. Okay. I feel like I remember the Lutesses showing at their graves. That's wait, what's this? Have I been here? Uh I have seen medical kits in this area, but I don't think that was them. And I still hear, uh, or I hear uh, that Requiem from Mozart again. I don't think that was from... No, that is specifically Lacrimosa there. Uh... Okay. Open it. Done. 
It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Ah, For okay. Numbers, we'll get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Do you open the door or do I have to go in with help? I actually side with Elizabeth on that one. She ain't no mother. So, what, what needs to happen? Look on the other side. Oh. Okay. Well, that's great. You see, child, you chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Oh, Schnikes. What? Okay, I do not remember that. Do not remember that, did not remember that, whatever. Elizabeth, are you alright? Where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. I have a feeling she's going to be immune to the crows. She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of scare. Okay. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Uh, so let's replace it with Shock Jock for this battle. I mean, we can still uh, hurt the others with crows, but... What is this other one? I already forgot. Water, right? No, is it is it just force push? Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, and do these guys just keep coming until she's defeated? Oh, that's oh, okay. That's what that is. Gotcha. I forgot about that. Wow. Okay, I am definitely going to lose this. But, okay. So, return to sender. That's what that is. Um, hmm. Do I really want that? I think? Let's go with this. I also, I wish I had the carbine. Thank you, Elizabeth. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Yeah, she just heals them, doesn't she? So... Really... Maybe leave a few alive? Because does she... Does she heal them back? Or does she respawn them as... You know, multiples? Or no, I, I think she, I saw one being risen by themselves. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Booker, get up. Booker. Well, what's everybody's health like? Well, that's nice of them. They going in through a tear? Oh, I, I have. I thought I was down to, like, no health there. Why do I have health again? So I think every time I'm alive, I do more damage to her. So... I think even if I, ha you know, die a couple of times, I'll be okay. Nah, I, I think I've just about got it. Don't need to change the difficulty. I do lose money for losing, though, don't I? 
Yeah, I know. Oh, they triggered a trap. Okay. From one of the people I killed earlier, I guess. Where are... Where is she? Okay. Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Um... Hmm. Maybe I do want to focus on killing the soldiers, because when she brings them back to life, she is in... You know, she, she can't move. Also, I need a better weapon situation. And of course, when they're dead, they no longer are firing at me for a brief point in time. Uh, is that something glowing over there? Yes. Could it be a weapon? It might be. Okay, heater. I don't think I've really used this. Ooh. It has, like... Ugh. Okay, I need those med kits. Uh, and again, I was at no health, and then I got health. What, what is that about? I need a different weapon. Dang it. Okay. Man, I'm losing a bunch of money. God, this is... Like, this is kind of like the final boss fight of the game, it almost feels like. Like, no, there is still plenty after this. Without question. It's that, um... I don't know. This is... Truly difficult. I'm glad I'm not playing in 1999 mode. Okay, what, what are these? Okay, hand cannon ammo. I can live with that. Whoa, what? I, it felt like I teleported there, but no, I just, I guess, crank gun. I guess I just turned and faced a wall. Right! I get healed when I kill people. Forgot about that. That's why my health has been going up mysteriously. Thank you. I really needed that. Ooh, I do not have much ammo. Okay. Okay, uh, I have health back, or shields back. Now I need health. That will, you know, help. Taking that person out. Okay, let's, uh, retreat. And try to... Oh, what can I do? I thought Elizabeth was an enemy at first. I was gonna start shooting. Of course I can't hit her with a physical attack. Is she gone? She the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. Is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. 
Okay, so that's why I remember the Lutesses. They're digging their own graves. And... I, I don't know. Okay, so... What now? Oh, of course, they're gone. <laughs> of course. Uh, I can get in there somehow. How? Like, it's not that I necessarily want what's in there. It's that I just want to figure out how to get it. Okay, uh... Hmm. There's not a hook in there. I don't get it. Okay, um... Where do I go? Do I just head back to where... Um... Do it. Um, we needed her handprint. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. <laughs> yes, that they are. Noticed. Yeah. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. Okay, well we'll figure that out later, because I'm calling this one right here. Uh thanks for tuning in everyone. Uh take care of yourselves. Remember that you are valid. Mm, bye bye.